Mom, are you watching House Muff again? Ugh! It feels like it's been uh, a new trend, a new swag, a new Thank style. You. Use a bag, wear a dress, this, right? And a million of them. You know, the toughest one, uh, my man's on Rico. Young Doug was wearing the skirts and this and this and that. He's the toughest. He said, so it's safe to say it's a fad, it's a trend. And guys are like, yo, I'm going to get more, uh, I'm going to go viral. I'm going to sell more. You know, historically, the people who sold the most, let's just keep it a buck. You know, your Nicki Minaj, her whole, you know, I went to Beyonce's concert, which was a lot of fun. I had the best time of my life in there, in the Renaissance, but it's a lot of, you know, and so... Is that's what's going on? They they say, yo, they, you know, the LGBT really supports you, so we gotta act like that. So you know, you got guys who I don't think are gay, but they painting their nails. Hey, Joe. See, what this was to me was just someone who no one is checking for, who once had a position, who um, is still holding on to their name. Um, when they should just be enjoying all the money that they made during their time and living their life and raising their family. Um, it's just really screaming. He has nothing to talk about. Because out of all of that, all I heard was a fat loser. Um, worried about something that has nothing to do with him. Big boy, if you don't want to wear a skirt or a dress or paint your nails, you don't have to. But my question is, why does... Someone who does and do make you feel away. Why are you worried about a man in a dress? Didn't you come from the era where they don't even talk about that type of shit? Because they're so straight. And, and and it sounds absurd. No one, I don't believe young, uh, what's his name? Young Thug and all of these people, uh, what's his name? Uzi Vert um, and all these people that do that uh, metrosexual shit. I don't think they're doing it to have more gay fans. Absolutely not. Why can't these be men, whether they're street niggas or not? Why these can't be street niggas who just do what the fuck they want to do? I thought that was the best part about being rich. I thought that was the best part about being a boss. Bitch, you could wake up one morning and just do something just because the fuck you want to. I thought that um, I thought that was part of boss niggas doing boss shit. Now, Miss Fat Joe, just because you may not look flattering in a, in a dress and you would have to wear a church dress to make your statement does not mean that anything is wrong with these men. And it all goes back to what I said earlier. Y'all got to let people be themselves and do what the fuck they want to do. If Thug wanted to wear a dress and a skirt, that's a grown ass man. Why does another grown man feel a way or need to say anything about it? That's what they're getting me. Everybody want to point the finger and talk about who gay, who gay, who gay. But y'all doing the gayest shit. And they were like, read the comments because it, it was the, uh, the fish in the comments. Fish go always be in the comments wanting to be seen and noticed and desperate for a man they damn self. Bitch, and it'll be the main one talking about men in motherfucking dresses. And if Young Thug asked to fuck them for a motherfucking hundred dollars, they would go. And y'all mad at Uzi because he got on stage with his motherfucking Birkin. Mind your business. So what is that? Not a, are those not grown men? Yes. Can grown men do what the fuck they want? 
Yes. So what is the problem? Are they hurting anybody? No. Are they killing anybody? No. Are they sexually assaulting anybody? No. Are they doing anything to kids? No. So what is the problem? You're not minding your business is the problem. Until somebody try to make you wear a dress, you should have nothing to say, Fat Joe. You have bigger fish in your kitchen to fry. And I'm going to just leave it at that. You have so much other shit to deal with in your household where you don't even have enough time to worry about what another man is doing. And you better slow down losing all that damn weight because you're starting to look like a chitlin. Bitch. Leave people the fuck alone. And a lot of y'all niggas just be out here talking just to run y'all motherfucking mouth. Because in that one minute and 35 seconds, all I got was, bitch, you worried about the wrong thing. And that they're doing it to... And keep Beyonce name out your mouth, by the way. His bitch, as you see, he had to make sure, oh, I had fun. I bet you did. But you couldn't enjoy Beyonce because you were so busy looking at the gays. If you went to see Beyonce, hi. Bitch, I ain't seen nobody in there but her. Because when you come through with yourself and you go to certain places for the right reasons, you don't see nothing else that don't motherfucking matter to you. Black men have been so conditioned to hate the idea of LGBTQIA activity and behavior and lifestyle that bitch everything that tends to be feminine irritates their soul. And it irritates their soul so deeply because it's something within them that's burning or questioning. You know how they say um, the LGBT is like L LGBTQIA? And have y'all heard G? Or was it? No, L the Q is questioning. These niggas that be so bothered and pressed. No, it's LGBTQIA and questioning. They the questioning. Have y'all heard that? That is a real thing. Because they're questioning themselves in reality, but they run in their mouth and don't realize they're telling on themselves. You should have no questions about something that does not interest or pique an interest of yours. Am I worried about how a bitch bleed and how her and period and all of that? No, because that has nothing to do with me. I'm not interested in people who have those problems. So how they did it, deal with it, whether they deal with a tampon or a pad or bitch, they bleed all over themselves. It's not my motherfucking business. And you ain't hear me say much about it because it has nothing to do with me. Get through it the best way you can, <laughs> bitch. And that's the problem. So many people are feeling a way about things that they act like don't have nothing to do with them, but it really does. Because you're, you're damn near 50 years old and you're still questioning why you didn't get to live your best life. A lot of motherfuckers can have everything that we could dream of. Finances, cars, homes, money, um, travel, airplane, cars, materialistic shit. They can have all of that shit. But other little things will bother them because they're not free in every way. Money doesn't buy happiness. And fame don't heal hurt, baby. Hmm. And she know she a old queen now. And ain't nobody gonna want her. And bitch, nobody will. And Fat Joe, bitch. Girl, really, girl, really keep it cute because, bitch, nobody will ever check for you. Let me just keep it a buck. Nobody's checking for you. Nobody. And no woman will be checking for you if you didn't want talking about this. You wouldn't have the wife that you have if your funds was not where they were and you were not who you are. Humble yourself. 
a lot of you hoes need a little humbling. Kick Georgia out of my room. And while y'all worried about why I'm not at the Bego um, photo shoot, bitch, because I got the invite. Would you like to see my inbox message? I got the invite. But have we not already had these motherfucking conversations while people don't jump and do shit for Bego? I love Bego. We love Bego. But why do I need to be at a Bego photo shoot? Why? Why would I be there? Since you want to know so goddamn bad, why would I? Why would I be there? Okay, my name always being brought up in some shit. No, and I don't give a fuck who it is. And, and we might as well go ahead and break this on down because I, you know, it also came across my desk where a fat bitch who men don't want them and a fat bitch who um has to tag along with their boyfriend because they don't want to be at home by themselves because they fat and miserable and they nigga that they pay for and trick off on would rather hang out with prostitutes and motherfucking content creators because bitch, they're really only there for a financial gain. You know, so it reached back to my desk. That a bitch was basically having so much to say about like, uh, Cherry should have took the $2,000. Like, what else does she do? First of all, I don't have to do what y'all do. Let's start there. Since you hoes want me to run down my resume and y'all want want to know what does Cherry do, I boom. Pussy ass hoe. I can lay and sit in my motherfucking house and do something you hoes could never dream of doing, bitch. And you know what else you can't have? You don't have self-love, bitch. Pussy asshole. The reason why you miserable assholes, including everybody we were just talking about, Fat Joe and the people on the interview with JP and these fat ass, nothing ass bitches that's desperately wanting somebody to love them on Bego. The reason why y'all are even noticed is because y'all sit around and talk about other people. All of you. You sit around and you talk about other people. That is the only reason why people check for you. No one's genuinely interested in none of you nothing ass bitches solo dolo while y'all want to talk about a resume. My resume is me. My resume is the blessings that God has for me, sweetheart. My resume is me not having to trick on someone so I can finally feel some type of love. That's my motherfucking resume, bitch. And I don't have to accept what I don't want. My price is my price. And because I am that bitch, I can set my price. My resume is me. What does resume end in? Me. Bitch. I don't have to run around and, and kiss everybody motherfucking ass and run up behind every motherfucking body just so I could be noticed and then forgotten when they're done and they leave the room. Pussy asshole. $2,000 don't excite me. You bitches be so mad, so pressed, sit around and talk about everybody motherfucking business. But yet you hoes, why don't you hoes have it on Hell's Kitchen about why y'all men don't want y'all? I wouldn't want to be in no relationship with nobody who don't want me, bitch. I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't even want to date somebody who don't even want to hang out with me, bitch. Bitch, I wouldn't even allow my nigga to even have friends that question why am I coming? Bitch, you're not who you think you are, bitch. And then they love to throw up people. Oh, well, bitch, um, these hoes, they, they might as well took the $2,000 because um, they, they done had dates for less. Well, you've had dates for less as well. And one thing I can't stand about a trick is discussing a hoe. At the end of the day, the hoe always has the treat that the trick wants. And I'd rather be a hoe than a trick any day. But let me tell you trick something. Let me tell you, you trick something. Bitch, if you go get you a hoe, at least get a hoe that don't embarrass you, bitch. At least find you a hoe or at least spend enough money to get the hoe to pretend that they like you, bitch. You hoe spending your motherfucking money and can't keep your hoes in order. 
silly ass bitch. That's how you know you are de de depressed, sad, fat, miserable, nasty, nappy, miserable, fat, stankin', musty, insecure, broken, immature, ugly, gossiping, messy, faggot. Bitch, I don't know where you hoes get the breath in your body to speak down on anybody and discuss anybody motherfucking business when you are living in a miserable ass state of life. Bitch. Miserable ass hoe. You hoes have to sit with another bitch and have a motherfucking show on Beagle just for somebody to finally listen to you. Bitch, anytime I press the go live button, bitch, they're going to ch chime in and tune in. I don't have to set no, no date or no do this shit every day. Bitch, I can log on whenever I want to. My girls go always be right there waiting. And I don't have to sit around and talk about everybody's business in the world in order for people to listen to me. Bitches got the nerve to discuss another bitch payment plan or how bitches get their money and the money you get, you put on somebody else's in somebody else's wallet so you can feel appreciated. So you can feel noticed so somebody can finally give your fat nasty ass a fucking hug. And then the best you could get was from the refund section. Pussy ass hoe, how the fuck you found somebody slow and still they not acting right. Miserable ass bitch. I think a lot of you hoes need to close your motherfucking mouth talking about other people and go sit in the motherfucking mirror and talk to yourself and talk about you to yourself. Some of you hoes need to go look in the motherfucking mirror and tell you what's going on with yourself. Pussy ass hoe. I should have took it. No, bitch, you should have took it. But the sad thing is nobody's offering you anything to do anything since you want to talk about resumes, ho. What's on your resume other than stealing money from the motherfucking people that died in the motherfucking Pulse nightclub incident? What's on your resume other than fraud and stunty cunty activities in prison? Since we want to talk about motherfucking resumes. What's on yours other than gossip, mess, drama, insecurities, and fat? Bitch, let me tell you pussy asshole something. A bitch that look like you could never, ever, ever say a motherfucking thing about me. You understand? I'll always have more money than you. I'll always be in my own shit. I'll never pay a motherfucking nigga to motherfucking show me any type of affection. And I'll never have to press the go live button to motherfucking tear people down so somebody could finally notice me. You bitches are ugly. You are weird. You are unloved. You are traumatized and you are unhealed from the, the things that you went through in life. You hoes are jealous. And one thing I've noticed about a lot of bitches, uh, especially these fat shits, a lot of them really want to be trans women. That's where that passion and that hate towards trans women come. You have you ever you could just listen to a person and just tell it's not even the person they don't like. They're just mad at the happiness. A lot of people don't have an issue with you. A lot of people just mad at the, how you look and how you carry yourself. No one needs you, bitch. And that's why you're always talking about other people. No one loves you. Not even your motherfucking self. And confidence starts within. So if you want a piece of what I have, bitch, first of all, your fat, nasty, disgusting, broke, miserable ass got to motherfucking learn how to love your fat third neck. Y'all hoes brag about making all this motherfucking money. Bitch, it ain't shit to brag about when you spending on a nigga who don't want you. 
You how you but y'all gotta always remember there are some bitches out there that you know there are bitches out there that just feel as though a piece of a man is better than no man. There's the Barbaras and then there's the Shirley's. There are bitches that just want to be able to roll the words off their tongue that say, I have a man. And y'all don't know what they going through. Bitch, you know, you hoes, when you hoes press that end button on this motherfucking internet and y'all sitting in that motherfucking house and your nigga in the other room because he don't want to be around your fat, miserable ass bitch. Ho, your feelings won't motherfucking hurt when you saw your motherfucking nigga and another nigga texting like, why this fat, nasty, black coming i wouldn't want to be walking around in public with you either ho you big punk with this big ass beard mustache lipstick and black and you messy and you walk slow bitch i don't want to walk with you faggots. girl the only places you hoes is needed is at gay events Girl, then going to sit on this internet like you're feeling like you're really mad. Like you really thought somebody really wanted you. Bitch, stop acting. And cut. Bitch, stop acting. Oh, I was so here. I, that's why I got in the Uber. And I took my ass home. Oh, girl, you hoes talk about everybody on this. Y'all hoes talk about everybody on this internet and you ain't even got a car? Y'all hoes so rich, but you ain't got a car? And girl, from the screenshot of the picture, bitch, look like you were in the back seat. Mm. Bitch, I know why you hoes don't like me. I'm everything you hoes wish you could be. And I have everything you wish you could have, bitch. And I am everything you will never be. Fat <laughs> bitch. Let me see somebody trend. Let me see you hoes trend and not talking about me. Let me see you hoes trend, not talking about other people and what they going through in life and they hardships. I'd appreciate it more if you hoes would talk about how miserable you really are. Huh? And who, anybody that's over here, even though I don't like Prince, bitch, anybody over here talking about some Prince is a pedophile, I don't know that to be true. I don't take those type of threats and those type of rumors uh, uh, lightly. So, bitch, if you don't have no proof or nothing, don't come over here saying that shit to me uh, on my motherfucking live. Because, bitch, just last week, y'all was calling me P. Diddy. And now the motherfucking nasty ass bitch that was lying on me, girl, now she on Beagle not getting no beans. Don't nobody even know she exists no more. I just saw a f ass on a panel earlier today with zero beans. So, girl, I need y'all to understand. Y'all cannot like a bitch. Y'all can feel how y'all feel about a bitch. But a lot of y'all hoes are just miserable ass bitches behind fake profiles who just want to tear people down. I don't like Prince. But, bitch, don't come over here with no rumors about a bitch just because you want to start some shit. Just because y'all over here in my comments saying he a motherfucking pedophile and I don't like him, don't it's not going to get me to say anything about him. Bitch, if it's true, call the police. Bitch. Y'all hoes swear y'all so against pedophiles and uh, child molesters and all this crazy shit. But ain't none of y'all calling the police. All these hoes swear I was aggressive and I did some shit to them. Girl, and ain't nobody told the police. Y'all just want to tell the next biggest broadcaster it's called mess and it's called clout chasing. Whether it's me or anybody else, the name of what it really is does not change. And if somebody is really doing that type of shit, y'all need to be calling the police. Coming to my live telling me ain't gonna do nothing about it. If you know, if you got receipts and proof that that bitch done did something, call the popo. -po. Don't wait 10, 15 motherfucking years. And after a bitch transition and want to come 15 years later, some of them, they was aggressive and they, and they thought that you was going to rape them. But yet they on panels today showing off their motherfucking house and somebody, oh, I'll fuck you right in front of the motherfucking, uh, what that boy told him? Oh, I'll fuck you right in front of that water fountain. Oh, that wasn't aggressive. You didn't almost feel raped then. Girl, he just said he was gonna fuck you. He did not have your consent. Your 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 consent. Or or you don't feel all of them. you don't you're not scared. You but ass over there smiling on zero beans. Get the 
get your pussy ass out of here, bitch. I told you that storyline won't go work. Slobbery mouth, buck teeth ass bitch. What's up, Mars? Y'all, can we get some beans in the room? Double tap the screen, shut alive. And like I said earlier today, I'm going to, um, I'm adding more people on my friends list, but I am also deleting people off my friends list. Because when I look at my uh, contribution list and I look at the people that be in my room and the viewers that I have and the people who gifted every time I end my live, the numbers don't be adding up. So I will be removing at least 100 people off my friends list today. FYI, and make sure you guys are following me on my social media, on my IG. Um, BSM, can you guys hashtag or spam my CA and my um, IG? Thank you, Mars. Now, who next on the motherfucking docket? <clears throat> What's up, baby? And I'm going to just say this. All you bitches on this motherfucking app, y'all all losers. Bitch. It's probably a good 10 people on this motherfucking app that I even feel like they're worthy of having a motherfucking account. The rest of you hoes is garbage. Contentless, loud, tired, miserable, messy, following ass punks. Mad at any bitch that look better and doing better than you. Kick King J out of my room. Don't ask me who, bitch. You don't send me no support. Get out. That's who. Oh, and another motherfucking thing. I saw this recording um, of these two faggots. Uh, and, 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 and mind you, in the midst of them trying to disrespect me, they ended up making me the bar. Actually, I'm changing my, my, my Beagle name back to the bar. So these two punks are having a, a conversation. The, the odds of that, two punks, both with drug and alcohol addiction and health issues. May I need to add more? But having a conversation about trans women. And the first question was, who on the app looks better than Cherry? First of all, let me say thank you. For making me the bar. But that's what's wrong with you motherfucking punks. Y'all. And that's why a lot of y'all would never know how to understand and respect women. So I'll never expect you to understand and appreciate a trans woman. So not only did you uh, make me the bar. And I thank you. Um, but they was like. who? What trans woman on the app is prettier than Cherry? And I think they had named like uh, three other people. And then of course in the comments they were other people. But first of all bitch let me say something. Mm. <laughs> you hoes are crazy. Okay. And I'm going to say there are a lot of beautiful girls out there because there's no competition over here. But no bitch, no bitch equals to me. Now, I think the better question should have been for y'all punks to ask which it has more T cells. Uh huh. That should be the conversation. Which has the worst drug and alcohol addiction? Mm hmm. I think the better question was, since y'all always want to chime in and have so much conversation about trans women, I think the conversation should actually be, um, which one of you punks really love yourself? 
I think the better question should be, how should you punks heal when you were snatched out into the gay community and, and you were made to live in your truth? See, the reason why a f discussing trans women, no matter what the discussion is, will never motherfucking matter is because a trans woman chose to live in her truth. A lot of you it's are grown ass who, who were made to live in your truth, who were so dick hungry, so desperate to suck some cock that they got exposed. See, you can't expose a trans woman, you know? And I think that the man, a lot, it, it really gagged me in that conversation because both of those men that were having those conversations are both trans attracted. Hmm. The odds of that. See, when y'all punks get into this gay community and y'all get around all these and y'all get into all the mess and the drama and lose your T-cells and your CD, what is it called? Uh, CD4 or whatever that shit that shit is called. Bitch, you lose sight on what really matters in life. And all I see is, un all I see on this app is hurting people, hurt people trying to hurt other people. That's all I see. You know, when you go to Tease Clock, Bego Recaps, when you just scroll and scroll and scroll, all I see is hurt people trying to hurt people. All I see is hate trains linking up. All I see is bitches doing everything they can to get a bean or two. But all of y'all wanted to be mad at T.S. Madison because she didn't want to come over here. And that's why when everybody was trying to get me to discuss how I felt about what T.S. Madison said, my number one response was, did she lie? Thank you, Afro. Oh, uh, you bitches, I wouldn't want to come over here anyway because all your only reason why y'all want T.S. Madison over here is so y'all can have the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her so you can find a way to tear her down and run a hate train on her and to misuse or misabuse, to abuse something that she said and take it the wrong way so you can get some type of clout as being the person that went against something she said. That's it. That's all. And when people don't give you hoes, the um, option of interacting with them on a certain level, y'all become very jealous. Very, very jealous. And by the way, to those two young men that were, that had so much to say, y'all could never discuss my motherfucking looks, bitch, when y'all are allowing liquor, drugs, and sicknesses, diseases, and STDs to take over your physical look. Because truth be told, they're, they both were very handsome men. Thank you, Afro. But um, we can see a lot has changed over the last year, physically, on both of you. So the next time you hoes want to sit there and discuss how any bitch look, I think that um, you should just take a picture from last year and take a current picture from today and put them side by side and humble yourself. Let's not discuss nobody looks until you hoes can explain why you are losing weight so drastically. I don't think none of you should be discussing anybody motherfucking looks until you can tell people why your skin has gotten darker over the last motherfucking year. I don't think none of you hoes should be able to discuss anybody's motherfucking tea or any motherfucking looks or appearance until you can tell people why your skin so motherfucking dry and pale. Okay. Message. So let this be just a little lesson learned before y'all discuss anybody else or try to put anybody against anybody else. Make sure that you are T. Okay. Do I make myself clear? Unlike a lot of y'all skin, do I make myself clear? Oh, okay. And I noticed, bitch, y'all always got my name and shit. Bitch, I was away from the app for four fucking days. And bitch, I was still on the, the fucking blogs. Like, goodness. 
Girl, my picture every day. I'm like, girl, what? What's up, Mars? Girl, like, what?